Other news this evening, city leaders are calling for better planning in the wake of the deadly Buffalo blizzard. The Buffalo Common Council met this afternoon to talk about how the city can be better prepared for the next winter storm. News 4's Sarah Minkowitz was at that meeting. She has the latest for us now. Sarah? Dave and Jackie, Common Council members once again talked at length about the city's response and how it can be better. Today's meeting focused on the Buffalo Fire Department's response. Buffalo Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo says that during the blizzard, around 70 residents stayed at fire stations across Buffalo. These were people who were stranded outside or in their cars and needed someplace warm. Common Council member Chris Scanlon brought up concerns about the fire department not being prepared to shelter all those people. He says he heard from firefighters that say they didn't have enough food or resources. Ronaldo says it did take time to gather those resources and they're looking into fixing that. It did take a while, but uh, to the efforts of the National Guard, Sheriff's Department, uh, our whole logistical chain, we were able to get uh, not only food, but blankets and uh, cots and things of that nature to the firehouses and to the warming shelters. It did take some time, and I know we can do a better job, and that's one of the things that we're looking at the next time around, to be better prepared in that area. Now, Ronaldo says the department responded to around a dozen fire calls during the blizzard. He says equipment wasn't the problem, but the weather conditions and stranded cars on the roads were. The president of the Buffalo Firefighters Union disagrees, saying they need to update equipment and there needed to be a better plan in place. In the studio, Sarah Mikowitz, News 4.